Hi there folks, do you like shopping? Do you like shopping in low resolution? And do you like shopping in low resolution at night in a spooky shopping marketplace? Of course you do. That's why today we're playing Experiment Groceries. That's our supermarket and we are going in. Make sure you keep watching to the end because things get spooky and weird. I'm really excited to play this. I found it ages ago and forgot about it and thought I'd played it, but I hadn't. Oh wow, we are an absolute chad. Or not, I can't tell by my low-res face. It's like the intro to Birdemic where it's just a non-stop driving scene for like 30 minutes, but instead they condense that down to about a minute. Cola, pizza, taco. I doubt this is the entrance. Nope, that's the stockroom. Can I... can I... nope. I guess I can't. Okie doke. Well, this feels lovely and joyful. Is this the door? Like, no, that's like a counter. I don't know, it, it feels... feels like a shop at night. This is Carol. She's delightful. Oh God, she looks angry at the world. She truly is a uh, retail employee. And I don't blame her. People are terrible. Oh, right. I have to carry them in. Gotcha. Can I throw it? I can. Important gaming controls there. There we go. So I'd like one taco, please, Carol. I would like cola and a pizza. Where do you keep the cola? I guess in a fridge? But then again, <laughs> they do have burger racks and taco racks. Yep. So one slice of weird dry pizza and a cheeky bottle for the road. Okay, thank you. Oh, there's a little counter at the top. I guess that's my money. I'm going to have to see what happens if I run out of money as well. Definitely feels like an alternate ending. So back in the car we go. That was... Yeah, you see, I knew that wasn't going to be it. Now I've got $100. And it seems to have gotten a little bit darker out here. The world is now losing colour. Well, maybe that's just my imagination. Oh, someone's kicked the door off its hinges. I see uh, the football's already begun. Hi there, Carol. Ready to serve? Uh, beer, donut, pizza. I wonder if there's a speed run for this. I feel like there is. Oh, donuts. They're over here. One donut. And what's the last thing? Pizza. Oh, that's back in the freezer, I think. Unless they've migrated it to the taco rack. Nope, there we are. One slice of pizza. That's actually a uh, speedrunning tip for all of you uh, people using shop. Throw your groceries at the person trying to check you out. It'll happen a lot faster. Uh, you might be escorted out of the shop by burly security officers. You might not be allowed to go back in the shop ever again, but you will get it done faster. I mean, I noticed this is just a void now. I bet that looks great on YouTube. Nah, still nothing spooky going on there, though. Okay, let's carry on. I think things are getting quite a lot darker now. Oh, flickering. That's nice. A nice spooky flicker. And someone has really kicked this door off. Uh, and they smashed up the cafe too. Hi there, Carol. Staying strong. Donut sauce taco. Let's just gather it all together. One. That's the most boring looking donut. Two. Three. There we go. She is looking a little bit angry, isn't she? Oh well. On we go. Is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? Or is it literally just repeat? Because I'm doing what it asks. Maybe I need to get it wrong. Am I playing the game right? It isn't giving me spooky cues that I've done things wrong or right. I assume it's progressing. Like time marches on. It's just lulling me into a full sense of security. Oh, it's... Well, I was going to say it's fixed, but it's clearly buggered. <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay. Hello there. No, you're you're not good. That's that is a grade A case of being not. Oh, I'm just gonna carry on with my shopping anyway, if that's all good. I keep feeling. Oh, I don't like it. It's a bad face. Ma'am, you sure you're good? Oh, I, I, everything's pointing me towards this door. I'm being, like, hemmed in. Oh, okay. Okay. Li 
Oh! Oh, hello there! Hi there! You must be Dave from uh, from Tech Support. I hear you do uh, computers now. Really proud of you. The test subject's portfolio, Joe H104. Haven't noticed any of the paranormal phenomenons yet. Race, human, unemployed, single, has a driving license. Discovered during the experiment, favorite products, beer, pizza, donuts. Has not brought unprescripted products. Has not used toilets. Has brought nine products in total. Okay, oh, I thought you'd be looking at me then. Can I play on your laptop? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? That, that, someone was there, weren't they? Okay, what's your spooky game? Okay, well, whoever was here is gone, so that's that. I'm sure we'll never, there won't be a single other spook happening. Okay. Well, this is joyful, isn't it? Entering a creepy, dark warehouse at night in some sort of horrific dead zone. Oh! It's another Gorington! My, you do have a large face and really sharp hands. Oh, and another deadling! Hello! Um, toilet, toilet, keep track of them. Oh, is there a spook? That, ooh, almost. <laughs> I'm getting good at detecting these little spookingtons now. There we are. So I reckon we'll go to the bathroom, and there will be a grand spook. I'm surprised nothing's chasing me in here. This feels like premium, horrific chase territory. Oh, that, that is a very bright camera there. Okay, yeah, it's making me edgy to turn around now. But there's nothing in here. I assume it wants me to try and climb out a window. Oh, yeah, there's an empty window there. Um... Box? Yep, I can indeed push the boxes. Okay, so we're, we're Half-Life 2 in it up in here. I'm down with that. I'm not sure I like being outside in the dead zone. This feels deeply spooky. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I wish I could run. But I don't have a run button. Oh, those freaky eyes are staring at me this whole time. I just need to get to the car and get away. <laughs> oh, this is really intense. A get out, yeah. Oh, so, like, I really, really enjoy it when games, like, slowly, like, something changes a little bit by a little bit. Just like this. God, there's something about the, the weird whining ambience and, like, oh, I've, I've actually got shit. I've actually got shit. Like, the, the hair is standing up on my arms right now. I've actually got chills. That was phenomenal. <laughs> oh, it turns out we were in the Matrix. Well, we've escaped. So that was Experiment Groceries. I had really, really enjoyed that deep whining ambience and just a really simple day-to-day, -day, which just went batshit crazy. So that was Experiment Groceries. Check it out uh, down below. I'll leave a link. That was really, really good. And we are going to have to have a quick check for an alternate ending if we spend all of our money.